Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Huda Kismet from the .comgal.com and today I will show you how to create a Facebook pixel, how to install it on your WordPress site and how to make sure that it's working. But before we get started, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and uh, once you do, please press the bell button so that you're the first to know whenever a new video is coming up. So let's get started. So first of all, what is a Facebook pixel? A Facebook pixel is a piece of code that actually you get from Facebook and that you can put into your website, whether it's a website, I mean, whether it's a WordPress site, whether it's um, an HTML uh, page or basically any kind of place that can actually accept a code. So this code basically tracks your visitors and uh, you can use it to build audiences on Facebook in order to advertise to them and remarket to them. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to create something as a test. Um, we are going to the business manager of Facebook and once we click here, we go to pixels. So they keep changing all the time. It used to be you can only create one pixel for, for your ad account, but now it looks like you can create multiple. As you can see here, I have, I have multiple pixels created for the same account, you know. So we're going to create a new pixel, okay? And we're gonna give it a name. I have a, a new Word, WordPress site that I just started and I just wanted to install it in that website and that website is uh, about cats and pets. So I'm, I'm just going to write it cats visitors. And I'm going to take my, my URL and I'm going to put it there. Okay. So once you create that pixel, it gives you um, a piece of code. For example, you can set up with WordPress. It says like, you know, when you see, when it sees that you have a WordPress site, it tells you like, it looks like your business might be using WordPress. If you have a WordPress account, you can set up the pixel without adding the website, the website's code. Uh, that's an option, but that's not what I do. What I do, I normally do it manually. So just click on setup manually, you'll get this piece of code that you will copy but now we'll keep it here for now because in order to put it in your WordPress site you need a plugin that allows you to put the code into your header or footer so we're going to look for a plugin that can allow us to uh, add that code into our WordPress site there is one that I know uh, that I use all the time it's just called tracking code there are a lot of them. You can choose whichever you want. Uh, I'm just going to use this one because I've used it before and I know how it works. I think the guy's name is something like Khaled or whatever. There it is. So I'm going to install it here on my site. It's installed. What's in Once it's installed, you activate it. And then we go to settings on the left side of your WordPress dashboard and click on tracking code. So basically it gives you two spaces. One is for the header, one is for the footer. We're we're going back to our business manager. We're going to copy this code. It's copied. And then we're going to paste it here and save changes. So now our code is installed on our WordPress site. Then we are going to put our URL again. Sorry, that's not the URL. We're going to pick to put our URL once again of our website and click on send test traffic just to make sure that it works. Just going to wait for Facebook to do a test. And it says active. It means that you have installed it and it's on the site. That's it. That's it. We are basically done with the pixel. So once we have created the pixel, 
we can create a custom audience. And what a custom audience is, is basically a group of people who actually visited your website and who have been tracked with that pixel that you have installed on your website. So we're going to click on create custom audience. It will give you this kind of, it's not really an error message, but it's just that you need to set up something else. You need to assign the pixel that you have just created to an ad account in your business manager settings. So, so let's go ahead and do that. So once we are in the business settings, we are going to click here and we are going to assign an ad account. Let's assign this one and save changes. So once we're done with that, we are going back to our pixel list. We will click here and we'll be able to create a custom audience this time. Select the ad account that we just assigned. Go next. All website visitors. You can go back 180 days as it says here. And then we can create the name. We can name this audience again. We can call it cats website visitors and create audience. And here it gives you an option to create an ad or create a lookalike audience. We're not going to do that right now. We just created an audience and we have placed our pixel on our website. So let's go back to our audiences. And as you can see here, it's populating. So basically it takes time to populate because it depends on, you know, how many people visited your website in the past 180 days or 30 days or whatever you chose. And then after a while, it takes some time, but then after a while it will show a number here or it will tell you like it's below a thousand if it's below a thousand. Okay. So once we are done with our pixel creation, with our pixel setup and with our custom audience creation, we have to go back and make sure that the pixel is correctly installed and working on our website. Now to do that, there is a Chrome extension called pixel helper. I'm not going to install it now because I already have it. As you can see here, this is Facebook pixel helper and let's go to our site. And as you can see, it shows that the pixel is correctly installed. If it doesn't show this, if it's gray and not blue, it means that the pixel has not been installed, I mean, properly installed. And that's basically how you actually create a pixel, install it on your website and check that it's working. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video for today. If you have any questions about Facebook pixels or if it's a little complicated or too technical, I would love to hear from you. I would love to answer your questions. As usual, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please leave me a comment. Please share it. Please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.